Hey there, art friends. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to draw a cute piece of broccoli, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the entire thing in marker first. That way it's a little bit darker and you guys can see it. But if you wanna grab a pencil in case you have to erase, I would encourage it. All right, now to help you guys out, I will be putting the finished drawing right here above the Drawing Joshua logo. That way you guys have something to reference while we draw. All right, so I have my marker. What I'm gonna to do to start is kind of come to about the center of the page. I'm gonna go down just a little bit and I'm just gonna draw a circle. Okay, and this is gonna be for the broccoli's eye. All right, now inside of here, what I'm gonna do is just add a smaller circle and maybe one more. And as you can see from the reference photo, I'm gonna go ahead and leave those white when I color it in. That way it looks like his eye is shiny. All right, now I'm gonna go over just a little bit and I'm gonna give it another eye. And try to make them about the same size. It doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe something like that. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here. I'm gonna put a circle here on the inside and a circle in the top corner. All right, now between the eyes, we're gonna go ahead and just give it a cute little smile. It's just kind of a U shape, maybe something like that. And I'm just actually gonna make it a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna add the same shape and just go around. All right, awesome job so far. Now, why don't we go ahead and let's start on the bottom of the broccoli, all right? Kind of the base or the stem of it. So uh, to the left of this eye, I'm gonna add a line. And then I'm gonna go about the same distance on the right side, go over just a little bit, like that. And this is gonna be where we have the base. So we're gonna have it go down just a little bit more. It's gonna curve just a little bit. Same thing on this side. Curve just a little bit. All right, awesome. Now we're gonna go ahead and give it some feet. So these are just gonna be ovals, all right? It's just an oval like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but this one's facing up and to the left, so this one's gonna face up and to the right, all right? So I'm gonna come down a little bit more, and I'm just gonna draw an oval. It's about the same size. All right, awesome. Now we're just gonna go ahead and connect the two. So I'm gonna come up just a little bit from the bottom and over like that. All right, awesome job. Now let's give it some cute little arms. All right, so below the eye, I'm gonna go down like here. We're just gonna have this cute little arm that just makes like a U shape. All right, and then do the same thing on the other side. So from the eye, down a little bit, over. This goes down. And back like that. All right, awesome job. Now, let's go ahead and continue with the rest of the broccoli, all right? So, it's gonna go up, and pass his eyes a little bit, and we're gonna go there, all right? And this is gonna be the first stem of the broccoli. So I'm gonna do another line that comes down, and it's gonna make a V shape that goes back up just a little bit higher than this side. And I'm gonna go over a little bit and down. All right, now let's go ahead and while we're here, I'm gonna make it look like it's connected to like the top of the broccoli. Okay, so it's just gonna be up, it's gonna to come to a point and back down. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. It's gonna come up and back down. I'm gonna make the line a little bit longer. All right, now let's keep drawing the stems. So like we did over here, we're gonna make another V shape. This one's gonna come up and I'm gonna make this center one a little bit thicker. So this one can go down, make another V shape. It goes over, make that one a little bit skinnier, do another V shape. We'll do one more over here. So then come over a little bit. And this is the one that we just connect to the side of the broccoli over there. All right, so like we did on these two, we're gonna go ahead and just add kind of these points over here. So I'm just gonna go up. And if they don't perfectly connect, you can just go ahead and extend them. And that's why I suggest drawing in pencil. Sometimes it's a little bit easier. Just cause you're gonna erase if you have to. All right, and this one over here, like that. 
All right, I think it's starting to look pretty cute. So now let's go ahead and add the whole top to the broccoli, all right? So from down this side a little bit, we're gonna go like here, all right? And we're gonna go ahead and just add these kind of like curved lines all the way around, okay? And you can add a ton of these. You can add just a few of them if you want. And we're just gonna go all the way around. want to add a little bit of variation you can make some of them a little bit bigger maybe like that you can make them maybe a little bit smaller maybe like that and we're just gonna go all the way around and it doesn't have to be perfect you might want to make one side bigger than the other side or maybe add a whole bunch of small ones on one side and big ones on the other it's totally up to you all right, awesome. Now, inside of here, we're gonna add a few more of these kind of curved lines. That way it kind of looks a little bit more realistic. So maybe from here, just got another curved line here. And maybe I'm gonna jump up here, set another little one down. So that just kind of adds some depth to it. I might just have them right in the center here. And maybe another one down below. And we'll go up here, and I'm just, at, again, these are just curved lines. These don't have to be anything specific. And let's go ahead and add one here. All right, awesome. And just like that, you're all done drawing a cute piece of broccoli. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color this in. All right, so as you can see from the reference photo, I'll probably do like a lighter green for like the body of it and a darker green for the top. But you guys are welcome to color it in whatever colors you'd like, or you can pause the video at the end and match the colors that I chose. All right guys, so as you can see, I colored in my broccoli, uh, kind of a darker green for the top and a lighter green for the bottom. And I just kind of outlined everything in black, but I'd love to see how your drawings turned out. So feel free to take me on any social media posts or have you or a parent email me your finished drawing at drawingjoshua123 at gmail.com. Now please remember that drawing does take practice. So practice and practice and always have fun. Thanks everyone.